Hello, all of my divine connections all around the world. I hope and pray you guys are doing great today. Wherever you're at in the world, if it's morning, noon, or night, I would like to say hello. Um, if you haven't met me and you're new to my page, my name is Carla Vincent. I live in Alabama with my husband and two children. And um, you'll know I'm on a motivation mission where I'll be um, talking about how I implement the law of attraction along with my spirituality. Um, I am a Christian, and Jesus Christ is my Savior, as well as the human body that I have to deal with every day and my life in general. So I'll be taking those three points and how I implement them, deal with them, and um, manifesting things of my heart desire. And it's actually a lifestyle. Um, it's a lifestyle that actually helped me to implement the Word of God in my life. Um, and it gives you the strategies and uh, the techniques on how to apply it daily. Um, I have had great success in applying the law of attraction. Um, it could be life changing. So if you're some people that have inboxed me, they're learning, would like to know. So hopefully, and that's how I did in the beginning. Um, I actually got a free coach through Christy Whitman. Um, I will post uh, the picture of this um, book. The the book, so in case you want to go purchase it, um, I bought it part of a package deal, so, um, so I'm sure you can buy it individually, but you have to go check for yourself. Um, she was really great in my foundation of learning the law of attraction, um, so I'm going to be reviewing over the universal laws. She called them the seven essential um, universal laws, and um, I hope you guys are doing great, as you can see, I'm kind of just got back from traveling, so, you know, um, I'm fine, and I'm just kind of like, oh, natural, and just reviewing um, the book, and so just come on in and get comfortable with me. I'm all comfortable and cozy, got the bed sitting up as I review over a few points. Um, I have been, I got to chapter like six or something, but I took a lot of uh, took notes, highlighted it, and I have planned on reviewing it anyway. Because if you know anything about the law of attraction, you, you need to be constantly learning and learning, constantly hearing about it, um, reminding you, um, you know, be careful with your thoughts and your feelings and how powerful we are within our human bodies. Uh, many times of my own self, I felt powerless, but in fact, we are powerful. Everything that we need, you know, is inside of us. And I've heard people say it before, but when you're like in a, uh, in a dark place, you don't feel that way. But the more you hear it, and I, I still remember someone saying that everything you need is, is inside of you. It's all in your mind. And this is something that God has blessed us with, a human body. Um, I have not always been appreciative of my emotions. I'm like, God, why did you bless me with all these? Oh, bless me. Why did you give us all these emotions? And they're all over the place. But in fact, um, someplace I've been reading that it's actually a blessing to have all these emotions because it comes, it comes like a compass. You know, if you're feeling good, that you're in a good good space good vibrations but if you're feeling bad that lets you know that you're in a negative vibrations and um that you need to you know change your feelings and thought process to positive in order to continue to attract more of that good thing but anyway we're going to go briefly i'm going to just tell you about the ones the pieces that i highlighted in the book um law of attraction is the first universal law it says the essential uh universal law uh, the first essential universal law and the most powerful is the law of attraction. Um, some, you know, express the law of attraction as where your attention goes, power flows. I have a video on that, which um, I first learned that ter term through uh, Reverend Ike Williams. If you Google him, he has a lot of great videos where he taught back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And I love the way he teaches and how he just makes it plain. But he always he has a way of doing, uh, you know, teaching his members. But he says, "How where your attention goes, power flows. Very catchy, but also help you to remember where your attention, where, where, where are you thinking about the most, your dominant thoughts. Wherever your attention goes, power flows. That can be either positive or negative, okay? That goes both ways. Um, another term they say, uh, that which you focus upon expands, okay? So if it's your career, your career will be blossoming, whether it's negative or positive, you know. So whatever you focus on, it's going to grow, okay? 
like attracts like okay like attracts like so if i have a great vibration uh and i'm feeling good and positive see i expect to draw in more people i expect people to uh, gravitate to my spirit and um feel my the love and the care and me wanting to share and 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 they also wanted to do the same thing knowing that it's very powerful um okay so I, i'm expecting to be drawn in great people um into my life and follow to follow and, and learn from me as i learn from you all okay uh that which is like unto itself is drawn which you just said so like what a great vibration and qualities I possess I expect to draw in more that which is like unto itself is drawn okay so there's some other words that people use uh, to describe law of attraction you may have heard um, out of the blue it happened um, uh, let's see luck you know uh, meant to be it fell in place fate coincidence karma okay that's a big one karma um, there is synchronicity and serendipity those big words right there but karma is a big one coincidence i never did believe in coincidence um but it's called love attraction it's just it was un- god was unfolding and orchestrating all that needs to happen to bring you your desire or your need okay so but that's some terms that people refer to uh the law of attraction and karma is a big one people say uh, i think that's more of a um into buddhism they use that term comes from there but karma um is what they say so that works and most people apply it when it's saying oh karma that's karma when it's bad something bad or they did something bad you know karma is going to come back to get them um but that also refers to good whatever you see you sow you will reap okay whatever you sow you reap that's yes good and that's bad it's not just in money that means also in love care um just anything that you can give uh with your time energy to a person you get that back in return okay and it may necessarily not come from that particular person but it'll come from somewhere else so remember it's very wise to be uh, careful on the fruit that you bear so if you're bearing negative fruit anger um bitterness grudges unforgiving spirit you're going to get more of that drawn into you so more of that negative vibration will begin to come into you so the best way to really think and to summarize law of attraction, like attracts like. Um, and whatever you are radiating in your conscious or subconscious, you will be getting more of that. Okay. Okay. So let's go on. So she says in her book, law of attraction is the most powerful law in the universe. It says everything in the universe is energy. Okay. So it says all energy has a vibration and radiates a signal and attracts a matching signal back. Thoughts and feelings are energy. You know, I didn't know that until I just really started reading. I'm not sure I really knew that. Or maybe I just forgot. I forgot you. That's why I says it's a lifestyle. You need to be consistently um, staying on top of it and be reminded of this. That thoughts and feelings are energy. That is pretty deep. And I actually went into some scientific stuff where it showed um, if they were to take a picture of your body and you were in a negative vibration they could see on this um, like a uh, x-ray machine the energies that you were vibrating off that is I'm taking my studies to a whole nother level with law of attraction so but if you just get the basics like attracts like then good thoughts really work on your basics and getting those down pat and right now you'll be in advance on to other things like really learning about you know how it works um let's see so it says if you uh think thoughts of abundance um that vibration is sent out to the universe okay so i'm gonna say to god um and those those uh that abundance signal is sent back to you and will uh match the energy of abundance forms of abundance so it can be money it can be friendship love you get more of that abundance on whatever the thoughts that you're thinking now the same is true she says which i knew that when you're thinking lack or limitations so it's like one i seen or heard um it was the other day well maybe a few weeks ago a guy um he started following me i'm like what is what's he doing i was coming at the mall and so he was i guess also trying to talk to me and he said oh, he was following me so um he said um are you married i said yes i am married he said why are all the good ones the pretty ones uh, 
taken. Okay, and so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do me, bye. But if you think about the thought that he said, that why are all the pretty ones taken? Okay, so he had a mind of limitation. Okay, so right then and there, he's like, what what you just said is what you're gonna get. All the good ones are pretty. Whatever he desired, whatever he found was attractive in me, those that's he's gonna get a lack of that which he thought. Okay. Um, I've heard women say it. I heard men, oh, there's no good man. There's no good man. Well, you just said it. You just spoke it out for yourself. Okay. You, you just said it. Okay. There's death and life in a power of the tongue. So whatever you speak, you're going to eat the fruit thereof. Okay. So, but if you think those thoughts of limitation, that there's no one else out there for you, everybody good is gone, then that's what you're going to get. That's just the it's just the bottom line. I, I didn't make this up. And I found it to be true because years ago, before I started dating, but I was thinking about it. I had on my vision board. I was practicing and really learning law of attraction. And I would hear women say, oh, there's no good man. There's this and that. I say, you know what? Don't say that. And don't say it around me because I don't want to hear it. Because I don't want to pick it up in my spirit at all because I just knew that I wanted to be true. Because if I feel like I'm a good person just because my prior previous relationships did not work out they may not have been for me and I'm not for them but that doesn't mean that they're bad people or I'm bad we just did not match so I feel like okay I'm a good person and I'm still out here and I'm waiting for my one that's just for me so why should I not believe the opposite sex the same is true for the opposite sex so if you keep saying that if you keep thinking it you know whatever you're talking to when you're talking to your homeboys your homegirls really monitor those conversations because you really open up to those people and so, like I said, I told the people, ah, uh, don't say that, don't say that, because that's what you're going to get. And so, in my mind, I said, there's someone out there for me, just like I am might be sitting at home and waiting. He probably sitting at home and waiting. We just ain't going to nut find each other if we don't step outside of our comfort zone to go dating or, you know, meet different people. So, and this actually the same was true when I did meet George. He, he told me that's what he was doing, so... Uh, you know, and so he decided to really step out outside of his comfort zone. So, um... Anyway, so you have to believe that if that's what you desire, love, um, you know, you have to believe that there is someone. It may not, and I've ran into a lot of fish I had to throw back, you know, dating, oh, no, no. And it did make me want to give up. I'm not going to, did make me want to give up. I almost gave up right before I met my husband. I almost gave up. That's another story for another day. But I was just like, I can't. It's just. You really need a support system when you're going dating. <laughs> just because you'd be like, oh, I just can't take it no more. Uh, I found YouTube videos where ladies, I just can't. I'm not. And it, if they had not given up or don't get, decide not to give up on the other side, they just keep going a little bit longer. They just meet that, that great guidance for them. But thank God for my son who was encouraging me to keep going and my grandmother. So, um, and I told another friend, I said, you really need a support system, not no men haters, okay? No one, or, or women haters who, who are bitter, okay? That is the last thing you need, someone who's bitter um, and who's just um, pessimistic or just men hater, man eaters, whatever you want to call it, or women haters um, who have bad experiences and so therefore they spew all their bad experiences on anyone else. You need someone with a open mind a uh, positive mindset and can really look at it from all points of view um someone who's wise and both my my grandmother and my son is, are wise so i thank god for them but anyway you know what i did not finish the chapter and i told myself i was going to make a short video so it looks like we're going to redo that we're going to uh, continue this tomorrow yeah because there's some other things that i would like to uh, pull out of the chapter um and so all right, you guys, I hope you have a great day. I'm going to hopefully have my energy up. I'm still positive, and this is good stuff to continue to listen to and learn. And I hope that you're taking notes, doing your own research, get books, continue. I'm telling you, this can transform your life, okay? Love you, Love you guys. Have a great night, morning, noon, wherever you're at. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments. Thank you for your shares. Thank you for inboxing me. Continue to... Um, share uh, my videos please your favorite video please do me a favor and do that um, and anyone that you think can benefit from it I would greatly appreciate it and I thank you in advance good night